Hey traders, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the Ashford Hospitality Trust, ticker symbol AHT. Now, AHT is a stock took a beating today. However, currently it is sitting in a zone where this is an absolute no-brainer swing setup. So I'm going to break that down for you. I'm going to start off by just going over the price target. Once again, this is something we talked about a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to go over any updates that have happened since. But then we're just going to focus in on the charts. I'm going to show you guys why this is a very, very easy setup to play and how to play it. And then we're going to go into key levels, key indicators and more. So we know how to best play it moving forward and we know what to expect. So without any further ado, leave a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let's get started. Okay, so first off, just recapping something we talked about in the video a couple of weeks ago after the reverse split happened. I made this to show you guys that nothing has really changed as far as the price target goes. A reverse split inherently does not decrease the value of the shares. And as a result, right now, AHT is extremely undervalued and oversold. So we went over this in detail. I will link the video so you guys can check it out where I break it all down. But essentially, according to our calculations, you know, we saw highs of $46 to $48.10 still being very, very reasonable at the current setup for AHT with all the shares that they've already diluted. This is all technically still fair value for AHT stock. Realistically, however, you know, 24 to $26, there's a big range right there that seems to be a very, very appropriate short-term price target. It's something that I believe would actually be fair value. And right now, AHT is trending well, well below that. So since you know we went over this a couple of weeks ago, nothing's really happened aside from earnings being released. And earnings essentially just confirmed everything. It confirmed both our bullish thesis that AHT is about to experience some record-breaking months with the travel demand boom. We saw that their revenue estimates beat what Wall Street had expected for them. So that's good. It also showed us that debt is still a big problem there. So yes, AHT still has a while to go before they fully recover from their debt issue. However, they are trending in the right direction and business is returning. So really, my takeaways from that earnings report being released is nothing but positives. But that's not what we're here to discuss. We're here to discuss the charts and why this is an extremely easy swing setup for AHT. So the best way to start this is just by going a little bit further back. And you know, this run really started in late May. We saw a big push so what right now is uh, priced in at $73. However, back then before the reverse split, it was $7.30. And since then, we have seen an absolutely massive sell-off back to these current levels. And a big part of that massive sell-off came when they announced the reverse split. And we've covered this extensively since. But as you guys can see, the absolute bottom that we've experienced over the last few months came the day of the reverse split. We saw lows of $15.05. And after that point, we got a pretty good bounce to the upside. And we've been able to hold that upside really ever since. However, today we broke down from that 1575 key level. And now there's only one support level left. And that's what makes this a very, very easy swing setup. Because you see that 1505 bottom that we experienced. That's the only support level that we have to base off of. If it does break below 1505, well, all of a sudden there's no telling how much downside is ahead. So that's a very, very easy risk level. You have a hard stop loss that you can set at $15, meaning that if you purchase right here, for example, at 1545, which is where we're trading at with about an hour and a half left to go before market close. Well, all of a sudden, you know, you know that you're only risking off 45 cents a share as a loss. However, if this does indeed hold as the bottom, well, the upside here is really unlimited. Like I discussed in previous videos, you know, I think $24 to $26 is a very good short term price target. And honestly, there is upside all the way to $46 to $48. That is still technically considered fair value for the stock. So, I mean, you could be seeing upside of $10 a share. Meanwhile, you're only risking off 45 cents a share. That is no brainer risk to reward. That is what you want to see in a good swing setup, especially one that is trading under its fundamental value and is extremely oversold. So now let's just hop into the chart and discuss those indicators, why it's oversold. So um, really 
Only other indicator aside from the RSI that we're going to go over is the VWAP. As you guys can see, we are below the VWAP, meaning that the Bears are still technically in control if we can't reclaim it by the end of the day. However, we did get a nice intraday trend reversal this afternoon. And you saw we were just trending down, down, down. And eventually, you know, we kind of started to find a bottom kind of finding our bottom of the day at 1522. And since then, we've started trending back to the upside. So that's a good sign. Once you kind of see that that bottom is in and that we, you know, didn't go to, to test that 1505 level, that's where it became very, very easy to hop on as soon as we saw that trend reversal. So that is something to keep in mind. But yeah, like I said, we need to take a look at the RSI. It's just going to kind of confirm the story here. As you guys can see, once we switch to the daily, this RSI is currently sitting at $30. This is very, very oversold levels. And normally, once a stock gets to those oversold levels, it tends to start regressing back to the mean. It means that you know the sellers are eventually going to get exhausted. And that's when the buyers are going to come in and start pushing the stock to the upside to where the fair value should be. Like I said, minimum of $24 to $20. $26. Um, that all being said, now we can hop into our key levels. So um, very, very easy on the support side. I, I've talked about this. I just explained it. 1505. That's the only support you really have to keep in mind. Yes, we do have that intraday support at 1522 that we also might catch a double bottom off of. So that is another level you can keep in mind. However, 1505 is the main level that you need to be concerned about. If it does drop below there, then yes, it's time it's time to get out of the stock. However, as long as that holds up, well, then we're pretty much sitting near the bottom of those levels and we have nothing but upside ahead of us. As far as the upside uh, goes, you know, all these levels are just pretty much based off of what we've seen traded the last few weeks. So we have resistance at 1575, 1610, 1675, 1730, 1760, 1850, 1915, and then here is really the first price target. Yes, $24 to $26 is kind of my realistic fair value where I think this stock can head to in the next month or two. However, 1970 has been the high post reverse split. So this is definitely a good target level where you should start taking some profits if you do see AHT go to retest that level. So yeah, if you get in at 1545, you go all the way up to 1970. That's a pretty nice chunk of change there. That's about a 30% move. So that is definitely something that I find very realistic, very realistic, especially if we do indeed hold this as a bottom, we're going to go back to retest this. We just have a few resistance levels along the way, but that's pretty much all I have to say about that. I mean, let me know if you're confused about my logic here. I think you know, this is the absolute ideal risk to reward swing play. Um, and when the market gives you those easy opportunities, you need to take advantage of them. Uh, if you have any other feedback for me, let me know. I'm always interested to hear it. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. And aside from that, have a great rest of your night.